Thank you, Gordon. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's always fun to play for you all. And uh, yeah, you've always been a very enthusiastic audience. And, uh, and over the years, you'll have given me a lot of support as well by coming to my gigs and uh, yeah, emailing people about my gigs. And, it's, and that's what music is all about, you know? And uh, today, I'm really happy to have a very good friend of mine, Nick Jones and Myland. Nick and I studied together at Massey University. And uh, yeah, we've been playing in the same band uh, for about 12 years now. Yeah. And uh, Nick, besides being a fantastic violinist, he's also a fantastic pianist. He plays bass, he plays guitar, he plays rock, he plays pop, he plays <laughs> everything under the sun. <laughs> so, and uh, yeah, we had a little rehearsal at my place just about half an hour ago and drew up a set list of, of, of tunes that we thought you'd enjoy and songs that we enjoy playing as well. And uh, yeah, no music and stuff, so everything that you hear is pretty much created on the spot. But we've got a, we've got a lovely set list for you all. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy yourself. And feel free to clap if you want to come up and dance. <laughs> do that, you know. Like I always say, the aim of the evening is to have fun. We enjoy our music, and you hope you enjoy it too. Thank you. I'm yet to decide which violin I'm going to play on which song. So um, maybe you can tell me which one you prefer, the sound of at the end. Um, of course, the, the old 300-year-old German handmade is also the French one. So um, it does have a nice tone acoustically, but it's a different story when we amplify these as well. So um, we'll see how we go. Let me know. <laughs> the song is normally sung by a male opera singer. Um, it's one I, uh, I play quite a lot because it's quite dramatic and bold. Um, and it's uh, a song you'll recognise as well called O Sol Mio.
paper, it's alright. It's alright. Yeah, sure. It's jazz, so we'll keep it jazz. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one you're going to do is a little thing. Stand in. Slap in Thank you. 
so that was close. I, I almost started that as girl from Eponema. <laughs> <laughs> it's very similar. Dude. Oh, was it? Oh, had the, uh... Oh, yeah. Whew, got there in the end. Oh yes, sure. Um, yes, our children, um, they seem to know the song uh, with a different reference to what we all probably will know it from. Um, of course it's Leonard Cohen's great hallelujah, um, but when you ask sort of a, I suppose, children um, nowadays, they do tend to recognise it from a movie called Shrek, uh, but a big green troll. Um, yes, it's, it's probably not well depicted in that movie, but um, it's good, they recognise a beautiful song. So. <laughs> With this one, I've added an echo. Um, I do have to sort of play reasonably still in front of this microphone. I, I have to move usually, but so I'll, I'll be as stiff as a cardboard for this. I'm sorry. So.
Thank you. Right, this is a song, um, whoo, here we go. This is a song called uh, For Sephora. <laughs> um, yeah, it's by, uh, it's a Rosenberg tune, um, often played by Grappelli, Django, it's sort of often played in more of a, more of a bossa feel sometimes, but um, it's got this sort of a gypsy feel to it, I suppose you could say, but um, yeah, we literally just practiced this today. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I'd like to do, uh, play a, so a little solo piano. A song now from my latest uh, CD that's called Songs of Life. And it's a collaboration between myself and, uh, and Pauline Grogan. Pauline's a wrote an author, a writer, a dramatist, and uh, she was not sure Woman of the Year many years ago. And uh, she met me a couple of years ago, and we've been writing music together. And uh, this project took us almost three years to come to fruition. And it's uh, the book that comes along with has poems by, by, by Pauline. And, uh, and it comes with a CD. I may show you too. And that's a CD of uh, just my solo piano interpretations of uh, songs and stories by Pauline and myself. So it's something that you can put on your CD player and, and uh, enjoy while you, while you have dinner by the fireplace with a glass of wine. Yeah. And so this, this song that I'm going to play for you is a song called Finding Light. It's one of the songs from the CD. Thank you. Well, that was a song called Finding Light. Uh, for almost all of my performances and my gigs, I, I, I always like taking requests. And um, I meet people usually before the gig and ask them, okay, what song would you like us to play today? And uh, but this, uh, the request for this particular song came from halfway around the globe. I posted the gig up on Facebook yesterday. And uh, I've asked my friends to come along to this gig. And there I got a message from 
friend of mine from India. He's a guitar player called Rodney. And he says, Ben, I have a request. Oh. Can you play me Sultans of Swing? Now, it's a song that we used to play, by, it's a song by Dire Straits that we used to play in a pop band almost 20 years ago back in India. And so, yeah, I, I'd like to do the song for Rodney. And uh, Sultans of Swing. I'm going to invite Nick once again. It's going to be our own version of Sultans of Swing, you know. We, we played it last, almost 20 years ago, but whatever comes to mind.
How much time we got, Peter? Oh. Yeah, sure. We'll do another jazz standard. There's another one. Standard. This is Fly Me to the Moon. Yes, please. song needs no introduction really.
Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Right. Valerie? Yeah. We'll go from Danny Boy to Valerie. So, um, is that an alphabetical order? No. <laughs> Valerie is a song made famous by Amy Winehouse. The late Amy Winehouse. Yeah. <laughs> Let her music live on, I say. <laughs> I've never played it like that before, Ben. <laughs> that was a one-off arrangement, I suppose. <laughs> Great. Yeah, cool. From Lively, we'll just turn it down a little. Um, we'll bring some Beatles into the mix. A song, uh, a band, sorry, and a song that I grew up with. Um, Die Straits and Beatles, pretty much my dad's favourites. So, <laughs> so um, this is uh, Yesterday.
Thank you. Yeah, sure. Yeah. We're trying to decide whether we do a, a major blues or a minor blues. <laughs> okay, it's darker, isn't it? Thank you. We'll do one more. Um, oh, thanks. <laughs> we don't have done that yet. We'll do, we'll do over the rainbow. Yeah. Okay, before we do our last song, a very big thank you to all of you, 
for having us here today. Uh, yeah. As you can see, we've enjoyed ourselves on stage. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fun and it, it's always, uh, what makes it even more special is playing to a really appreciative audience. And uh, so thank you. Thank you, Gordon and team, for having us here this evening. <laughs> heaven, heaven, heaven. Yeah. And uh, yeah, a big, very, a very big thank you to Nick. In fact, my, when my wife Maria heard us play at home today, she said, Ben, you have to go to the studio and you have to record an album soon. So I, I, think, I think that's what we're going to do very soon. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and, and we're we also thinking of maybe having a concert at the Pump House and, you know, sometime soon. Yeah, and we've got, got my very good friend, your father, Rafael, and you know, he wanted us to put up a concert as well, so I might do something for him. Yeah, yeah. So that's, for those of you for, for who don't, that's Father Rafael. He's right up here. And uh, yeah, so a tune to take you from somewhere over the rainbow. Skies are blue. Spring's going to be here soon.
Thank you. Thank you.